In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be the best RPO play in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you've never been to my channel before, my channel posts 4 Madden 21 tips and tricks videos every single day on YouTube for free. So if you're looking to get better at the game, I would highly encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Also, if you want to get exclusive tips, more almost on the level of like ebooks, basically free long form tips, I would highly encourage you to shoot me a text message right now. Pull out your phone, text me. My number is 812 216 3644, and I will send, sign you up for our text message tips that we send out every single week. This last tip that we did was over 55 minutes of breaking down how to defend or how to contain the uh, popular trips tight end offense in Madden 21. All right, guys, so I'm in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Now, for those of you guys that um, have picked up the Arizona Cardinals offensive guide, um, you can pick that up in the description if you haven't already yet. But you guys know that this offense is amazing. A lot of you guys have become four to 500 yards per game passers. Um, but there's a little bit of, um, a, of a component of the offense, of the air raid offense, that is kind of lost, I think, in Madden 21, and something that we can bring back. And basically what it is, is a solid bubble screen system that can really take advantage of your opponent overextending himself to either play man or zone coverage. And so what we're going to do is we're going to show you what I believe to be the best RPO play in Madden 21. And it comes to us from the shotgun trips. And there's one little baby adjustment that you're going to do that is going to turn this thing into um, just an amazing play. So it's from the trips in uh, gun trips. And the play is RPO read bubble. No surprise there. Um, but we're going to jump in here. And what I want to talk about is more so along the lines of this play as it pertains to a pass now more than likely you're going to face nickel 55 or nickel 55 wide which is going to make it even easier but to showcase this um, against what i believe to be the best pass defense possible we're going to utilize the dime 146 and first and foremost i want to show you my coverage adjustments here my coaching adjustments i have my flat set to five yards and i have my zone uh, curl flat set to 20 yards and hooks are on default okay hooks are on default that's really really important and we're going to go in and this is kind of just a popular zone that's a popular uh, zone drop scheme it's probably even the one that i personally would recommend for anyone that's just getting started in the game so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with um with man coverage and then we're going to work through all of the coverages that you're going to probably face with this and first and foremost with this play if they do not pass commit if they do not pass commit um whoops I'm sorry, I forgot to do my little adjustment. Oh, I think that was man-to-man. -man. If they don't pass commit, it's basically a dice roll um, as to whether or not they're going to be able to defend it. Uh, most of the time, they're, they're definitely not going to be able to defend it. You'll see here, um, this is man-to-man -man coverage. And at the snap of the ball, what's going to happen is they're going to blitz off the edge. And we're obviously two for two throwing to the other team. There's two things that are going to be open. The first thing that's going to be open is your hitch route. So what you'll notice is when these guys are blocking whenever you motion them that's going to turn them into a hitch route so you see here basically what this is going to mean for this is like right here i can just hit this hitch route if they if they're not paying attention and they just are in man-to-man -man coverage and they're just kind of doing whatever if they don't make any adjustment i can literally at the snap of the ball um this is man-to-man -man coverage stock okay man-to-man -man coverage stock watch what happens it's just an easy snap throw, and you get a lead blocker up there. And if you have a fast tight end, that's going to be a touchdown in, my, in Madden Ultimate Team with Vernon Davis or somebody like that. Now, if you want to hit the bubble screen, basically you just have to wait a little bit longer. Um, and so you can do that. So you're just going to snap the ball and wait just a little bit longer. And you'll see here, once he clears, once he clears that um, sideline, he's going to beat man-to-man -man as well. Now I want to show you man-to-man -man coverage with um, pass commit. Okay, so what if they pass commit, you say? Well, okay, so if they pass commit, first of all, that's gonna make them much, much more uh, susceptible to running the ball. So let me just show you this run. You'll see here, it's basically an inside zone or it, it's a read option as well though. So you can run this, like if they, you see how it has a read defender here. If they don't, if they're not careful, 
you could actually run this with your quarterback right up the middle of the field or to the right or you could even run it to the left so that's another reason why this is so good you see here and oftentimes what's going to happen is the running back will actually lead block for your quarterback right up the middle um you'll see right there that's what i'm looking at right there so you see how you can kind of do that as well the the next thing that you can do with this is let's say they you know let's say they option the quarterback so they don't come down they don't crash well then you can just run this you know little inside zone and it's what i would do with this run this run is a, it's not the best inside zone um it's a really it's it's an okay outside zone as you can see um but what it's really really meant to do at least in my opinion is with these guys as they stand up it's a double juke right in that gap and if you can time that double juke right you're going to be able to uh, really get up field really well so right there once that middle linebacker is covered and you don't have to double juke i mean you can just left stick it if you want to if you want to just kind of curve him but basically you're going to get that double team right there and oftentimes you're going to get this cutback lane that's going to open up uh for you now if you do follow your blockers uh just stay close right in here and then you just kind of allow essentially by using the left joystick you can set your blocks up so as you're running through the lane I'm gonna go right and then or uh, whoops I'm gonna go like left and then right and then just kind of like setting that up but let me show you the pass commit on the bubble screen so when you motion uh, Mercedes Lewis here this is pass committed man-to-man -man coverage snap of the ball and you're gonna see that you're gonna be able to hit that tight end again as you can see the tight end is wide open against man no matter what they do um, in fact what they'll try to do is they'll try to do something like this but this is where the bubble screen is really really important it almost serves as the bubble screen interestingly enough it's not even the primary receiver on this play but here's man to man with a flat zone and you see that you can cut the flat zone off if you want to if you don't want to cut it off let's say you know you don't want to throw that risky of a pass that's understandable this is hard flatted um, man to man coverage on that right side at five yards five yard flats um, and so what you'll see right here is if you don't want to throw it early you can throw it late see here as it they'll basically just fall away from the hitch they'll basically just fall away from the hitch okay the um, the next thing that you're gonna see though on this man to man um, the bubble screen does take its little time to get open and so part of the trip the trick of the trade with this uh, with this little play is establishing other things this is not meant to be your only play that you run this is not meant to be the primary play that you run this is meant to be a play that you mix in because of its effective effectiveness now let's say that you go up against something like this and this is what i would probably try to do to stop it this is tampa 2 and what you'll see here is the bubble screen is going to get out there on that zone and it's going to be wide open now that's pass committed tampa 2 with a um, hard flat out there and you're still able to hit the bubble screen let me show you tampa 2 again and now let me show you let me make sure i pass commit here just to be 100 be certain on this and what you'll see is that wide receiver on the right side is going to block that flat zone and you're going to be able to hit that bubble screen to um to shepherd for for key yardage tampa 2 is going to give this thing the most difficulty because the yellow zone on the right if they pass commit it and if it's a vertical hook zone um, it has to be a vertical hook zone and you'll see why here in just a second when we switch to cover three but you'll see um, see see how it kind of hangs with the see how it kind of hangs with the tight end that's gonna be the key thing that they're gonna do now let's say they run let's say they run cover three and they do hard flats right this is a popular coverage that you'll see so this is cover three hard flat and what you'll see here is that the snap of the ball you can hit the bubble screen, but the bubble screen's not as open as it was. But the key to this, the key to this, is if they go hard flat and they pass commit, this route to Mercedes Lewis should be open. Snap the ball. Right there. Right there. As you can see. So you're going to be able to, because the bubble screen is what, what the bubble screen is going to do is it's going to pull all the zones with it. And so you're going to be able to check down to Mercedes Lewis. The key here is just is just understanding the 
the timing of your quarterback more more so to me that's the biggest most important thing with this if you know you're gonna if you know you're facing some type of like cover three or something like that and you know you're gonna have to wait for a second you know just be careful with Rodgers. Um, essentially what you're gonna make you're gonna borderline turn this into uh, a throw on the run and we'll show you that here but all you do is motion the side into the right to get him on the hitch hitch and the snap of the ball they're gonna go with that bubble screen and then you're gonna be able to hit that route to Mercedes Lewis and part of it is learning you know I would run in, run this in practice mode a little bit um, before you run it in the game mode because what you're gonna find out is that you're gonna need to just kind of like like wait a little bit um, basically you need to plant your feet that's one of the key elements to it in my opinion um, making sure that you get a good plant of your feet to throw it then um, will help a lot with the inaccurate things that could happen from this because it is you have to understand the mechanics of the play right it is attached to an RPO um, and so the quarterback is thinking oh I'm gonna run but you're just gonna you're just gonna hit it now right there the mistake that I'm making with Aaron Rodgers is I'm not lowballing it if I lowball that that's a completion and then one one thing I do want you to see here um, so this is cover three this is just cover three um, and what you'll see is if they just run cover three um, on you like that if they're just running their flats at five you should still be able to get this route into your um, your guy right here but as you can see, see how he kind of flutters out though? And that's where, to me, the hitch makes a big difference on this. So that when they do something like that, you know, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand strong in the pocket and then, you, and that's what you, that's the animation you don't wanna have. The reason that's happening is it's it's because I have not mastered the, the after play mechanics. And that's where with the quarterback, you know, if you can master the, the after play mechanics with this, um, it's going to make this play even better. But basically what it boils down to is when you when you run the fake, snap of the ball here, when I run the fake, you, you, you don't want to, you don't want to move your, your left joystick. You want to let the quarterback kind of set his feet so that he doesn't get that, that like, those like happy feet, basically, uh, where he's just kind of running around right there. And then you want to just cut it off but you'll see on this next play here we'll show you uh, cover three and again the cover three is probably you know Tampa 2 to me is gonna give it the hardest time but and another thing you can do is if you motion about a scantling in on a hitch and then you can basically motion him back you can then really leverage Mercedes Lewis's block so you'll see something like this right here this this can really work in your favor as well but basically what i wanted to highlight was turning those uh those um those routes into hitches and then what's cool about it is you can smart route the hitch if you want to so you see here i can smart route lewis and this is critical too because watch how shepherd's gonna throw all of these zones off and that hitch is gonna go about five to ten yards and it's gonna be a nice completion for you uh, against that coverage so those are all little things that you can do to really make this play a very very effective bubble screen and a very very effective uh, RPO right there as you can see and that's cover three now let me show you cover two really quickly just to show you uh, I just want to show you uh, one other little piece of this and that is like if they if you do something like this right here what you'll find is when they run Tampa 2, you're going to stand a little bit better of a chance of completing this. You see how he goes deeper? So even if they're like, even if they're hard flatting, like let's say they're, they're let's say you're facing a man-to-man. -man, and to me, what's really crazy is just what this does to man-to-man. -man. Because this is past committed man-to-man. -man. Um, and what you'll, what you'll see here is this safety should fly to the flat. And it's a, as you can see there. Now, if he, if you see, you see that right there, and you can borderline, you know, this is almost like a streak, is what it turns into. Um, it almost, it, it almost, you know, gets the vibe of that because he's in a hard flat because they're trying to get him to come down on this ball. Well, the problem is, and if they, and again, you can still hit this bubble screen. You see that? I mean, you can still hit the bubble screen. 
and you can take four to five yards. But what what this allows um, with the putting a smart routed hitch, what that allows you to do uh, in man to man specifically, even if they drop a zone, um, because the hitch route is what just kills them. This thing is going to run up, as you can see, and it's going to be a snap throw. Uh, streak it's gonna torch man I mean it, it's probably the best way to beat man in Madden in my opinion but then what you're gonna get into here is on the Tampa 2 uh, side of things watch what happens with the tight end uh, because you've now smart routed his hitch so he's gonna go deeper snap of the ball and you see how you see that yellow goes with him so what that means then again, and that's where I say Tampa 2 is going to be your hardest one, it's because the vert hooks will do a decent job whether they're shaded or not shaded, meaning whether they're zone dropped at 5 or they're not. And what you'll see here though, but what you'll see is you'll be able to hit that bubble screen. So if they, you know, if they go with the tight end, basically the rule of thumb with this is if they go with the tight end, hit the bubble. And if they don't go with the tight end, um, then hit the tight end. So, and most of the time they're not going to go with the tight end, just so you know. Uh, most of the time you're going to be able to throw that right in that little pocket for a possession catch or a rack catch, depending on the defense. So, I just wanted to share that with you. I thought this was a, you know, just a really, really good addition to the Arizona offense and something you can do out of trips specifically. You can do it out of some other formations as well, but gun trips to me is the best formation to do it out of. So check that out. Also, if you haven't signed up for the text message tip, if you thought this tip was in depth, the tips we have in the text message membership are super, super in depth and super, super high level. So I'd highly encourage you to sign up for that. Literally, all you have to do is just shoot me a text. And if you want to jump in our Discord and talk Madden with other players, you can do that by clicking the link in the description of this video. Uh, Discord is basically a communication platform, communication app. That allows you to connect with other people, uh, not just with me, but our entire community and talk in real time. So uh, that's where we talk Madden 24-7. I want to thank you for your time today, guys. We've got a couple more videos coming soon. But until those videos release, and by soon I mean by the end of the day, until those videos release, I'd encourage you to check out some of the videos on your screen to help you continuing to get better at Madden 21. Thanks, guys.